I had an amazing joke about COVID. But, never mind, I don't want to spread it around. All right, ladies and gents, welcome back to Bobville. For those who are joining in for the first time, what's goody? Today we're setting up our most basic health bar for our player. Now that he can move let's give him a little more life. We'll start with a simple UI canvas you create in the hierarchy. You'll want to name it something like health canvas. We can get rid of that event system object in the hierarchy because we won't be using it. We're gonna want to center this canvas with the main camera, so head to the inspector and change the render mode to screen space camera. Now drag the main camera over to the render camera and that should swing it. Next we'll create a UI image as a child of our canvas. This will be the background of our health bar. Change the rec transform, so the image stays the same relative size, on different screens. Drag and readjust the blank image to a good size, then duplicate it. That can be done by simply clicking on the image in the hierarchy and press Ctrl D. We'll name this simply health bar. I've drawn some quick, little health bars using Krita that I've imported. So let's set the sprite mode to multiple and open up the sprite editor. Simply slice and apply here. Rename your sprites. Boom, boom, boom. Then close. Now we can go back and drag our images into our objects inspector. We don't really have to do anything to the background image. So now drag the health bar into the source image, but then, I'll change the color. Ok cool cool, but more importantly, we'll change the image type down here, to filled. Then set the fill method to horizontal. This is probably the most important part, for this health bar method to work. Make sure the fill method is set to left and you can see the effect we've created with the fill amount. This is what function we'll be changing in our health script. In our asset folder let's make a new C sharp script and call it something like health UI script. I've already made mine to save time, so let's get a look. This time around we'll be using the scene management Unity engine and the UI. So make sure you call it here. Ok so first we call our image. Give our player a max health of 100 and then the last float will be current health. In the start function we grab our health bar image. We use get component in children instead of get component here. Then we simply set our health to equal our max health. Our update method basically sets the fill amount to be equal to whatever our current health is. Then our if statement checks to make sure we can't go over 100% health. Cool cool, for now we'll just make some buttons do damage and heal our player. Later we'll add enemies and potions and environmental traps and stuff. Finally at the bottom we have our die code, which is where we check if the player has no health, and if not, we restart the level. The debug. Log prints this sentence into the console, which will be useful later. But that's it for the coding. Go back and pause as needed. Be sure to save, then go back to Unity. At the top, click file and open up the build settings. Since we only have one level so far, we don't have to change much, but this is where you can change the order and more, we'll get into later.
But now, let's click on our health bar inside our canvas and drag our new health script into it. Nice nice there you have it. We can click V to take damage and B to gain health. If we spam B our health won't go past max health. And if we press V more than 10 times our player dies and the level restarts. And that's it. Next W will be doing a little more animating and maybe even some enemies that can do some damage to our player. But until then. Like always, thanks for watching, peace.